Bye, guys. I'm gonna wait till you guys join me. I know there's gonna be a lot of uh, late tardy people to this party, so I'm gonna wait for that. To those of who are showing up early to class, how we doing, how we doing? Welcome. We are back in the kitchen, cooking with Kells. Uh, so far, we're gonna make some spaghetti squash latkes. Uh, I had a sp spaghetti squash that I was gonna cook for uh, me and Jennifer. However, uh, I held on to it, I waited for it. I was like, what can I do different with spaghetti squash. Uh, people turn it into spaghetti. People turn it into, uh, they stuff it. If you guys know anything about spaghetti squash, it's a very sturdy vegetable. Um, it's a very seasonal vegetable. So we got anything from the, uh, you know, like I said, you can make a pizza out of this for, if you want. I looked up so many recipes, I got lost in the sauce. Speaking of sauce, if you want to throw chicken in here, if you want to throw some spaghetti uh, sauce in here, you can make yourself a spaghetti bowl, if you know what I mean. Just dig into it. It's like if cereal had its own bowl and all you have to do is pour milk into it, that would be this. I know it's a very far comparison, but that's, that's what I'm doing here. So, let's see. First off, I cooked the, the asparagus. I said asparagus. I knew that was going to happen. I cooked these spaghetti squash uh, in the broiler for about half an hour. Uh, fresh salt, fresh pepper, fresh olive uh, oil. Uh, got it nice and charred on the outside. And what happens is, all you're gonna do is you're gonna scrape the inside. It's gonna create a spaghetti effect. That's where it comes from. Uh, shout out to Brittany Fields. Uh, she is the one that hit me to spaghetti squash. Me being a meat and potatoes man, I was always about meat and potatoes. So when she, when she came uh, over and we stuffed them with chicken tenders and spaghetti sauce and made like a, a wonderful union of like just love inside of its own shell. It was, it was awesome, it was great. So first off, all I'm gonna do is grab a fork. I'm gonna get that whip hand going and I'm gonna pull this out. It's gonna shred itself up. Uh, we're gonna add an egg, we're gonna add some cheese, we're gonna add a little bit of vegetables and we're gonna make ourselves a cake. It's gonna look just like a, a crab cake or a um, like I said, a latke, but more or less, we're just gonna keep doing. We're gonna keep it with the the vegetarian style. So this is perfect for you guys who love, uh, you know, veggies without any meat, without any sauce. I have a cucumber sauce slaw that I'm gonna be putting over top of this. It's gonna be zesty. It has a natural rice wine vinegar uh, base to it, so we have a zesty slaw over top of these hearty, savory uh, spaghetti squash. Damn. My neighbors are going crazy upstairs. No. Uh, spaghetti squash latkes. So you guys know me, I always have the cast iron on deck. So right over here, I got the, uh, the griddle. It's gonna be on the flat side tonight. Uh, nothing special, no grill marks needed. We're just gonna keep it simple. Um, with these kind of cast irons, you can cook pancakes, eggs, omelets, latkes, whatever you want. You can just, it's, it's there for you. It's like a flat, uh, flat top grill. If you guys are familiar with uh, flat top grills and the restaurant business, it's just like this, it's hot, it holds heat, it's non-stick, it's ready for you, it loves you as long as you love it. When I say you love it, as long as you uh, treat your cast irons, don't let them rust out, um, you treat them with oil, don't treat them with too much uh, harshness as far as uh, scrubbing soaps, you'll be perfect. Again, so now that we're over here, whip time. So, shout out to y'all watching, how y'all doing? My man Reggie right now is on the AV side of things. You guys see the spaghetti uh, effect? Kind of looks like hair, if you will. Tastes better than hair. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> so guys, uh, you guys have been asking for a lot of vegetarian stuff, a lot of different stuff that I've been thinking about, but I don't got a lot of time with y'all. I don't have forever to be creating quinoa cakes and uh, cauliflower buffalo wings. I honestly don't have time for all that. Y'all ain't y'all y'all don't have enough attention span for that. So why would I put y'all through that? All right. So scrape the inside. Looks pretty good. I already got a healthy amount of spaghetti squash already here. I might not even need too much of the second side. 
The only thing I seasoned this with was uh, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, you know, I, I stay with the fresh salt, I stay with the fresh peppers. Um, I didn't use my secret ingredient, which I'm gonna talk about later. Um, it is a very special bourbon smoked pepper. We don't need that tonight, we don't need that tonight. Okay, so, we're gonna stick with this for a second. Cause I'm gonna add a couple veggies to this. I'm gonna add a couple things to this. Mushrooms gonna be one of them. Mushrooms you're gonna want fine dice. This is gonna go. It's gonna look like a burger. So when you think of a burger, you want all your ingredients chopped up. The smaller the pieces, the faster it cooks. We're not gonna be doing a long cook on these. Like I said, we're doing the cast iron tonight. So we are only gonna do the outside of these very, very heavy. And then the inside is gonna be juicy, if you will. Um, like I said, it's not even a steak, but it's gonna taste juicy. It's gonna have a lot of flavor on the inside. So we're gonna keep this thing burnt on the outside, juicy on the inside. Mushrooms. Let's see, I'll do a little bit of red pepper just for flavor, just for color. Um, I've never made latkes before, especially at home and with spaghetti squash, but I saw a recipe that I really liked. It looked like a nice appetizer. Something that you would serve with this instead of a cucumber slaw is a sriracha mayonnaise. We can do sriracha, I got sriracha. We can do Tabasco, I got Tabasco. Um, but we're gonna keep it simple, we're gonna keep it light. I'm gonna make some food for them for y'all. I might do a little drizzle slot sriracha for color. Uh, we're gonna lay these things out after they're nice and toasted on the outside, like I said. Keeping it dark on the outside, keeping it juicy on the inside. I got a little green onion. Shouts out to y'all for coming to holler at me. Cooking with cows. If y'all don't see in this side of the ground over here, my man Reggie blessed us with a little, a little, uh, little throat lubrication. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> we are drinking Douce and we are drinking single barrel four roses. Um, we are tasting these. We are not guzzling these things. These things are very delicious. They deserve to be treated as such. Do not overconsume. Do not think that just because you were a baller, you can drink a whole bottle of Douce in one night. It is not needed, my friends. It is not needed. Okay, so something real light for you guys. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna add a little flavor to this. We have the spaghetti squash. We have a little mushroom. We have a little red onion. I have some pre-prepared garlic. Don't tell nobody I put this in here, but I have it. It's good. Fresh garlic, always recommended, but you know, we're gonna play around with some stuff. Like I said, spaghetti squash, looking for something new to do. Something different. Spaghetti squash would be like a nice base for anything that you want. You can make, you can put crab in here and make a spaghetti squash crab cake. I would not hate that. And you know what, if I went to the store and I thought about y'all enough to make y'all crab cake, spaghetti squash cakes, I'll be here for y'all. So, we got the egg. I'm gonna season it before I get my hands all crazy. Um, coarse ground black pepper, teaspoon. Sea salt, teaspoon. Not gonna go heavy on the spices or the seasonings. Uh, like I said, we're gonna keep it light, we're gonna keep it cool. I do have a little feta cheese that I'm going to incorporate in this. Um, another substitution that you could use that's normally used in latkes and whatnot is um, Asiago's, uh, pepperoncini, stuff like that. Um, but like I said, we're playing around, guys. We're gonna have some fun. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna pour up a tiny little bit of juice. I'm gonna turn on my cast iron skillets. Uh, we're gonna have a little fun. Uh, we're playing a little uh, Charles Gambino radio right now. Uh, we're just gonna dive into it. So here we go. Shout out to. Shout out what y'all are drinking. Are y'all drinking tonight, is it? Jennifer, I hope you're not watching this. Um, this is for research purposes. Ducey is a cognac. It is sponsored by one of those fancy rappers out there. Shout out to one of those fancy rappers out there. 
You get a taste of grapes. You get a taste of vanilla. It's all in a culture in that drink. Um, a lot of flavor. So what I'm going to do is right now I have the egg. I have a little bit of cheese. I have um, flour that I'm going to put in here. Basically, I need a binding agent. So it's going to be the egg, the cheese, and the flour. Reggie's shaking his head. Why, why am I? Oh, does Jim watching this? Jim says, put the deuce away. Deuce away. No. <laughs> not today. Deuce is not going away. I've never had deuce until today. My name is Dr. Seuss. I'm trying to get it loose. Because apparently everything runs with deuce today. Apparently, we listen to J. Cole. Okay, so. Nicely incorporated everything. Another thing that you could do is bacon in this. Why, Reggie, why did we not do bacon in this? I don't know. Bacon is a staple in your life. Okay, so we might cook up some bacon for you guys. I have some bacon straight from Finley. I have some barbecue bacon I can do. I have Cajun bacon I can do. I have a lot of bacon options, but I'm kind of mad that I didn't think about the bacon. Reggie's like, I'm going to come and help you out. Whatever you need, we just shot some ideas off each other. I said, it's getting late, but uh, we're still going to have some fun. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I'm going to dive into this, but first, I'm going to set it down here. Pan's still getting hot. I'm going to make this cucumber salsa. She don't want to be saved, don't say love. All right, English cucumbers. Mild in flavor, heavy in crunch. Um, great on looks, just like me. Easiest way to core a cucumber, throw it away from me. You guys know me, I love cooking right next to my sink because it is my easy getaway, it is my disposal. Cucumber. All right, with my cucumber, we're gonna do uh, dices. So you start with strips, call those juliennes. Shouts out to Raphael for sharpening my knife. By the way, shout out to Forno, shout out to Lilo and, uh, on Court Street, shout out to Hui, um, incredible fusion food, love it. All right, cucumbers nice and soft to my sharp knife, all right. Start with the juliennes and with the the brunoise, or the small dice. All right, cucumber. Red onion. That spoon is so annoying. If you guys are just joining us, we are making simple spaghetti squash latke cakes. Simple to do if you got a spaghetti squash chilling at the house. You cook it, you take the spaghetti squash out, you bind it with some eggs, some flour, maybe some breadcrumbs. You get you some cheese, you get you some veggies. You throw it inside, you're gonna make like a veggie cake. Um, essentially, you can throw anything in there. The world is your oyster. That means uh, shuck it open and eat that mug. Yeah. So, got my cucumber, got my red onion, got my rice wine vinegar. Got my cilantro, shout out to Kroger. Shout out to Kroger, man. I got two bundles of huge cilantro for a dollar. I went to Whole Foods, organic this, organic that. I get it, I get it, I get it. They wanted this much cilantro for 250. And I got two of these for a dollar. Now, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I know what deals is. Forrest Gump, 1994, Tom Hanks. Anyway, this is going to be a light tart. See, I don't even need this much cilantro. It's going it's to be a light. It's good to have it. I'm going to use it. Jennifer's going to get hungry. She's going to want some nachos. I'm going to want some huevos. So anyway, it's a lot of cilantro, guys. Anyway, cucumber slaw. I'm gonna put a little uh, red pepper in here as well. 
remind you guys I got my cast iron heating up, waiting for these cakes to go down. I'm gonna form them into rustic style cakes. They're going to go on the cast iron. They're gonna get real dark on the outside. It's a vegetable, so if you don't burn the shit out of those vegetables, they're not gonna care because they're not meat. They don't need to be cooked to a certain temperature to be safe for human consumption, even if you're pregnant. If you haven't seen sausage powder. Woo! All right, so I'm gonna use a little better salt on this. I have uh, some fleur de sel salt. It's a finishing salt. You do use less. This flavor comes out even more. Be right back. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this salt. But it comes in the finest of natural crystals. Look at my glossy ass hands. Anyway, best salt I've ever had. Something that you could just eat a cucumber. You know, you got you got your daddy who eats like a eats cucumbers and pepper and vinegar and salt. This is what he would he should be using. Um, yeah. Okay, so a little bit of red pepper in there. And then I'm gonna make these cakes, and then we're gonna fry these cakes, and then we're gonna drink a little bit more, and then we're gonna eat these cakes. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Green Dog Cafe. I stole this recipe some years back when we had a, when there was a salmon wrap, grilled salmon wrap, on the menu. Came a goat cheese spread with like a dill, something or other, dill spread, salmon, black beans, and cucumber salsa. I feel comfortable telling you that I stole you stole the recipe because they probably stole it from somewhere else. Okay, along with this, I don't know if you guys can see this right away. Great color. Of course we gotta add a tiny bit of lime juice. Shout out to Kroger. Three limes for a dollar. They wanted a dollar piece for these organic limes at Whole Foods. Me and Jen almost had a food fight at Whole Foods just to prove a point. Um, and then we left. All right. These are nice and wet. I'm gonna add some more. So if your spaghetti squash is a little too moist, you can either add more spaghetti squash. You can add either add uh, you can even add Dijon. But uh, I'm gonna add more spaghetti squash. But if I need to, I'm gonna add breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna pull out the wet hand again. Hope y'all remember that. I got the other side of the charred spaghetti squash. It's gonna go right into the bowl just to stretch out what the egg and the. You can add a little cream to that. All right, that looks a little better. I mean, everybody likes wet cakes, but this is getting ridiculous. So, thank y'all for joining me. Josh, if you're watching, see you in the gym tomorrow. Leg day was fun yesterday. All right, got my cakes. Cake, 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 cake. Let it not eat my birthday. Guess where me and Jen are going for her birthday? Mexico! So, I got nice cake hands. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna build these up high and tight. Because what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sear them, and I'm gonna press them down with one of these uh, spatulas, if you will. And it's gonna sit better. Once, once it's on a hot pan, it's gonna it's gonna seize up and it's gonna collect itself in a very rustic manner, and then it's gonna get real dark on the outside. So when your cake can look like that, where it kind of holds itself in place, that's when you know you're ready. Um, if this one doesn't work, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna add some breadcrumbs. I don't want to add carbs if I don't have to. I already got enough in this party. All right, so. With one hand, I hold my cake. The other hand, I make sure that my pan is well seasoned. 
and I mean by season I mean oiled. And then we're gonna get this party started. Alright, so cake number one. Got a spatula over here. My temperature is probably on a 7 out of 10. It's getting smoky, but uh, that's because what I told you about my oven is slightly tilted. So I have to regulate. And this is just happens. Let's see how this works. Looks like it's working out pretty well. exactly what we want guys we want a rustic smoky um, charred outside make sure it's well seasoned on the outside as far as your oil and we're gonna just make some more we're gonna keep this rolling I'm gonna throw these in the oven so that they finish on the inside actually I have a pan ready here for them Oh, it's good, right? Nice cake. Like I said, spaghetti squash, no meat, one egg, maybe some breadcrumbs, mushrooms, seasonings, herbs, love. Don't forget love when you're cooking, guys. So, yeah, look at that. Just make sure you're well seasoned, well lubricated. I guess I could just say that. But once we get some more cooking, they'll all be spaced out. They'll all be ready to go. I'm gonna pull this one off because they look so good already. All right, guys. Take a little bit more time over here. Make some more cakes. Our slaw is already finished. So literally, I'm gonna build these up. I'm gonna finish them in the oven. And this is gonna go over top. So let's do that. Hope y'all are feeling good on this very beautiful Thursday night. March 9th, 2017. I'll let your boy. I'm gonna go ahead and make this one a little bit bigger. That way I can give it some surface area. Again, I'm just making these high and tight. It's gonna be a little messy, guys. Nothing ever, nothing good ever came from neat, clean hands. Gotta get dirty. Since I have a balance problem, I'm going to pull this over to the side, switch it up. Again, I, guys, this is non-stick, so I can kind of do whatever the hell I want with it. High and tight, I'm going to keep this rolling. Got some more on the way. Hope you guys are ready for this. Spaghetti style, spaghetti squash style. Latkes, got your feta cheese in there, got some peppers and onions, and a little bit of feta cheese. A lot of love, high and tight on the, on the stack. As I come back, uh, pardon me, uh. As I come back, baby, uh. That one's not ready. There we go. Look at that. Pretty. Guys, just to let you know, oil and water never mix. So if you have wet hands, don't deep fry your foods. Alright. High and tight. You can push them down. You see that guys? If they're not ready, they will smush themselves if they have not incorporated themselves, like this one over here. 
they will break apart. So make sure, just like a pancake, you'll know when it's ready to flip. Because if, if it's not ready, it'll stick, it'll break, it won't cooperate. But a pancake that is ready to flip will let you know. It'll say, baby, flip me. All right. So these are looking good. You can even go a little longer. I'm going to crank the heat up a little bit on these. I'm going to play some, some dare, not truth, but I'm going to play some dare games. Again, I'm going to make sure that my oil is well incorporated since my oven likes to be top heavy, leaning to the left. Shout out to y'all. Ooh, look at that one. That's probably the best one. Nice, dark, coated, cooking on the inside. It's going to be so juicy on the inside. And we are just going to keep these going. I'm over here eavesdropping, see who's here, who's not here. Thank y'all for staying with me. If y'all don't see that, that's like feta cheese, like slowly coming out of this one. Give it a little love, give it a little time. It's gonna just break open and bust in your mouth. That's the best word for you. But it's vegetarian, so like they like like oh it's sexy talk though. Okay. That's what I go for. Alright, so we got a good base of these. The longer you let them go, the better they look. Depending on your level of love, um, I gave these guys medium love, but I can give the next ones a lot of love. Alright, so another thing about cooking cakes that I didn't remind you guys, that you should always stir your mixture. I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but basically I have put all the goodies at the very bottom of this bowl. This is going to be Reggie's cake. Reggie gets the, the one with all the love and all the veggies, all the seasonings, like the bottom of the bag of the Grippos. Some people really like it, some people really love it. Reggie, how do you feel about Grippos? I feel like... <laughs> I don't know. He's lost for words, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We were talking about Grippo bacon, and he didn't sound too enthused. So, we'll leave it at that. Doesn't sound like the best idea. But then again, it is strippers and bacon. Can't go wrong with that. At the same damn time. Last cake, full of love, juicy yet high stacked. Um, if you ever need to add love or uh, stability to a cake, crab cake, grab some uh, breadcrumbs. If you don't have any breadcrumbs, if you don't have any breadcrumbs, toast some bread, some stale bread, Put it in the oven, get it as dry as you can, break it up with your hands, and you got breadcrumbs. There you go. All right, so these are getting the love that they deserve. Again, my hands are wet, oil. Come on, remember this, Kellen. Okay. Just because I'm cute don't mean I'm smart, folks. All right, we got your nice cake. Soft, gushing with love. My oven's on, that means it's time to go in with perfect timing. We are going to finish up this slaw. We're gonna put these in the oven for like, mm, less than 10 minutes. Give me like five more minutes of your time, maybe like eight. We can plate these some, some bitches. I mean, Reggie, you're gonna eat. All right, let's talk more about alcohol. This is the intermission, folks. We got four roses, single barrel, straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey. This is small batch. It is uh, signed. Every bottle is always signed and uh, dated, if you will, with the actual barrel that it was made from. Sometimes it <coughs> yep, has the guy's name on it. Uh, warehouse SN, that could be anywhere, that could be uh, South New York, who knows? No, obviously it's Kentucky. <laughs> Stay with the facts, Kellen. So, this has been aged for... Minimum of three years. 
Minimum of three years. I thought this might have an actual date on it. No. no. This is great stuff. This is great stuff, guys. Um, probably fifty dollars a bottle or less. Um, Bakersfield has it. Come get a shot. I'm not gonna pay for it for you. You gotta buy your own shit. Um, but we have this at Bakersfield. They have it at a lot of different restaurants. Um, that particular bottle is 100 proof. It is 100 proof. 50 percent alcohol, ABV. Yeah. Okay. Douce. I don't know a lot about Douce. Would you like to tell me about some Douce? Um, Douce is a uh, French cognac out of Cognac, France. Hell yeah, um, it is. It's one of their newest ones. It's not like... It, it's been endorsed by plenty of uh, hip-hop rap artists. It's it's not... Uh, uh, it's not it's not like made by them. No, it's not made by them. These niggas weren't stomping the grapes and fermenting things to... Oh, if they had. Oh, if they had. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want no, that. No, but it's it's um, it's um a little bit more expensive than Hennessy and uh, 1738, which is most people are... Uh, used to? Used to drinking, and it's... It tastes, I think it tastes better than that. You know, it does, it does. It's smoother. It's smoother. It's got a flavor. Um, I know how people who drink Hennessy and the, even Palmasan, they look for flavor, they look for boldness. Well, this is calm. This is like the iced tea of... Cognac. Of cognac. It's smooth, it's enjoyable by everybody. You can drink it in the summer, you can drink it in the winter. You can drink it hot, cold, on the side, upside down, with Sprite, without Sprite, with ice, with ice, without and it goes well. Um, somebody tell me what this means. I don't know, I feel like it's slightly religious, but I hope not, because my mama don't play when it's not Christianity, so I can't play with that either. So, if y'all know what Ducé is about, uh, shout me a line. I guess I can just Google it, but obviously I'm doing stuff over here, and uh, y'all gonna see how well I'm doing it here in about five minutes. I'm gonna put these motherfuckers in the oven, and we're gonna be done soon. All right. Up. Remember I always talk about cast iron guys, cast iron holds its heat more than anything else I know in the world. So as soon as you are done, cut the cord, cut the heat. You will forget about it, you will hit your hand on something, and it will be that hot cast iron that gives you something that you don't remember. So I've been blessed not to have been burned by it. Reggie, have you been burned by cast iron? Recently, yes. It fucking hurts, man. I'm sorry, but it hurts. Yeah, that's how bad it hurts. Yeah. That's how bad it hurts. So, for, this, for those of you who are joining us, I'm going to clean out my little work area. I always tell you about I am not the cleanest chef, but I am the... Most courteous. Most <laughs> courteous, yeah. <laughs> so, I have a spaghetti squash, vegetable vegetarian style latke. It is a cake, bind it with egg, bind it with no breadcrumbs this time, just love uh, and feta cheese. Usually you can use you can use anything from goat cheese to Parmesan cheese, um, all of which I don't have. So y'all are getting what I got. I'm gonna eat this, it's gonna be delicious. Um, I love to play jazz with food. That means I'm gonna have good instruments. I'm gonna make sure that you, you hear and you verbally taste this delicious music. Um, speaking of music, we've been listening to Charles Gambino radio all night, so we got the chillest of hip hops. Um, that's what's in my mind all the time. Keeps me going through the day. Um, if you guys know at Bakersfield, it does get stressful, and any job, any job gets stressful. So you guys need to have some escape music, some headspace, if you will. Um, you don't want to end up like homie and get out. I don't know, y'all ain't all seen that movie, but y'all end up with the wrong one. Y'all gonna be done. Shout out to Jennifer, my queen, my baby. She's probably at uh, Ashley's chilling out right now. But uh, me and Reggie's gonna kick it. Uh, I got these spaghetti squash lockers finishing up. I have my English cucumber slaw, salsa if you will. It is uh, basic. It is filled with rice wine vinegar as a base, fresh lime juice. Uh, you have your salt, your pepper, and your cilantro. I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, this is something light, like I said. You can feed this to a family, to kids, to people who just want an appetizer, people who are switching over to vegetarianism. Vegetarianism. I could, I could catch on. Yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> so, we are testing some stuff out. We are using spaghetti squash as a base 
for a cake. Um, from then, you can take it into shrimp, you can take it into black beans, you can just make it a burger at that point. We're just gonna try something different that looks cool, is versatile, um, and it's sustainable. You guys know I uh, meal prep for my homie Josh, so he needs something that can withstand a couple days in the refrigerator. Then it goes to the microwave, then he goes to the gym, he might not eat it right away. This, that, and the other, I believe that spaghetti squash is gonna be one of those things that is holds its value. It's not gonna be greasy because I use extra virgin olive oil and everything in the burger is cooked and it's burger. Everything in the patty is cooked, therefore there's nothing to leak out. It's no greasiness, it's no blood, it's no bullshit. So that's what we're working on. We're working on a plan, we're working on uh, meal substitutions, if you will. If you like burgers all the time, then you're gonna be able to stuff this with cheese. You're gonna make it taste like a burger if you put some Montreal seasoning in it. You're gonna be able to uh, put some smoked bourbon salt. Oh my God, it smells so good. That's so amazing. Um, bourbon smoked salt, or excuse me, pepper from Finley, from Colonel D's. Colonel D's, if you guys are watching this, will you please give me a t-shirt, a grinder, a mortar, a pestle, a flag, anything. Uh, I, you sponsor me, I will cook only from your loins. <laughs> yes, I will cook, I will do that for you. So, um, Reggie, are you thirsty? Can I pour you something? Sure, I'll have a do so. Okay, sure. You got a glass? What? Oh, there it is. Forgot where the glass was. Oh, so I still have some in It's like, it's like what brandy should be. I know this is my glass, but now we're sharing. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is like what brandy should be. This is like what... Um, Irk and Jerk and all that other stuff should be. Quality ingredients, I've been doing it this whole time. Do say, it's over this way guys, Do say Cognac. From France, 40% alcohol, VSOP. Very special OP, what does OP stand for? I have no idea if I... VS is very special, so... I love the OP. Yes. <laughs> so we are there, we are in there, we are loving it. We're loving life, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Um, if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing this little ass button up shirt, because I've been at work all day and I came here for you guys to so, so you can see my pretty face. Shout out to Tremaine Red over at Cool Cuts. Got me slick. Rick out here. Um, go see him. It's on Short Vine. When I say Short Vine, I mean East McMillan behind Hughes next to Puff. Shout out to Puff uh, Smoke Shop. My boy Sean hooking it up all day. Chicago family stretching out to Cincinnati, baby. All right, so let's go, go look at these uh, cakes. They're probably almost done. Not gonna see too much doing from them, but we are gonna keep it going for a little longer, guys. We're gonna heat up one so we can plate it for you guys. Um, you can even use sour cream on this. So again, I'm gonna build this up nicely. I'm gonna get one of those cakes out for the sake of the video. I'm gonna pull one out, we're gonna finish it in a cast iron skillet. We're gonna build it up like a uh, like a amuse bouche. It's gonna be a palate cleanser. It's gonna be something fresh, floral, savory, and uh, get you ready for something else. So we're not gonna eat too much for dinner. I ate at work. You know, we'll, we'll figure something else out. But other than that, I'm gonna heat up this cast iron. I'm gonna get one going. We're gonna make it look real nice and sexy. We're gonna get like a money shot, and then we're gonna be out of here, guys. Okay? Hope for the best. Oh, look at this. Guess what, guys? Little Johnny's waiting on me. Crank this guy up. So guys, cast iron all day. I got the flat cast iron. On the other side, it has the griddle marks for the amazing uh, diamonds that you guys see on my steaks. I got the 12 inch for whatever I want. You can put, you can put anything in there. Peppers, onions, chicken, fish, anything. These are all the pioneer of nonstick, the pioneer of what our forefathers used to use before everybody got greedy and wanted that that crazy stuff that doesn't hold its weight. Cast iron has stories, cast iron has memories, cast iron doesn't go anywhere. It is yours forever. You take care of it, it takes care of you. My pan's already hot. I'm gonna do some, ma some TV magic, but in front of you, I'm gonna take one of these cakes I'm gonna finish it in the pan. All right.
right, y'all. That's gonna heat up. Pull some sour cream out. By the way, <laughs> side note. Girlfriend got some Chipotle bitchin' sauce. Mmm, bitchin'. If y'all have ever heard of this, please let me know how y'all like it. She put on some tacos, went hard. Can't even hate on it. This dip is nuts. Whoa. Whoa. It's GMO free, it's gluten free, it's vegan. Um, it's good stuff. I'm just, I just wonder how, have y'all ever had it? Do y'all like it? Bitchin' and saucy. Um, dip spread or smother in your favorite savory food. We made tacos with them. You uh, you heat up a tortilla shell, you put this at the bottom of it, you load whatever you want on top. It's bitching. All right, we're gonna crank this all the way up. We're gonna get it as hot as possible. Now that we're playing with it, I feel like these need to be almost crispy on the outside. They need to almost break when you bite into it. Um, it needs to be able to be picked up and it needs to be uh, cooked all the way through. It's got cheese in the middle, so we wanna make sure that cheese is ready to be bitten into. Again, folks, we are, <laughs> look, I just touched that. Did y'all see that? I just touched that pan. That was in the oven. Luckily, I got good reflexes. That's what happens when you're on live internet feed. You touch something, you almost burn the shit out of your hands. You're good. I'm good. I don't know about y'all. That was slightly embarrassing. Lesson learned. <laughs> Lesson learned, folks. All right. Pull out one of these beautiful plates. Me and girlfriend call these the mermaid plates. They're beautiful. They're fun. I didn't burn myself that bad. I can still do this. I bet y'all can't do that with your left hand. I bet y'all won't touch this pan either. Oh yeah. All right. Got that little, that thing hydrated. Make sure it's crispy on the outside. I don't want to cook it too much. Again, guys, I've never made a cake out of spaghetti squash. Nice, clean on the outside, not too crispy, not too nice. Also, you have to realize that when something is frying, it won't get crispy until you take it off the heat and take it out of the oil. So, best thing to do is either pat it, pat it with um, paper towel, let it sit, let it sit over a screen, if you will, but other than that, just let it sit. We're going to bring it over to the table. Going to finish this off. All right. Think. What do you guys think? Salsa first, sour cream first. Reggie, what do you think? Uh, let's go with that. Sour cream first. Okay. Give it something to stick to. Yeah. So I'm not going to be bougie. I'm not going to make some crazy crema. I am going to squeeze some lemon juice into this. Got a little bit of sour cream left. Got a little bit of lime juice. Squeeze that in there real primitive like. <laughs> You know, get down and dirty. All right. So I'm going to do what they call a dollop of Daisy. Do a dollop of Daisy. Daisy, you guys can sponsor me too. You see my whip hand is strong. Steven wants to know where you're at. Uh, why would you want to know where I'm at? Oh, that's a text message, Steven. All right. So I'm trying to get a quenelle, if you will. Quenelle is a egg-shaped whip of a... There it is. That's delicious. Yeah. So, spaghetti squash cake. Cucumber salsa. That's just one, guys. If you guys want to do 21, we can do 21. But right now, we're testing this out. It's gonna be a cake meat substitute. It's gonna be spaghetti squash. It's gonna be egg and to bind it. We got feta cheese in there. Matter of fact, cucumber goes great with feta cheese. 
So there we go. Gorgeous. Spaghetti squash cake. Something fun, something light. You can do one of those. You can do 21 of those. You can dip them in sriracha mayonnaise if you want. We're not gonna get sriracha mayonnaise out or sriracha anything. We're gonna keep it clean, guys. I've been trying to be nice to y'all. All right, I'm gonna bust into this, then we're gonna cut this clean. All right. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh yeah. It is still stringy, guys, so you do have to work through it, but it's ready to bite into. You couldn't ask for anything less or more. So, I got one case in the oven. If you guys want to do those now, we can do those now. But, I think I'll let those rest. So we have a spaghetti squash cake, meat substitute. We have a cucumber slaw on top with peppers, onions, and cilantro. We have a simple sour cream crema with lime juice in it. Something from Daisy, you know what I mean? Something quick. Feta cheese to finish it off. Uh, cilantro everywhere. Fresh herbs everywhere. This is how we do it. My man Reggie's holding it down on the camera. We're drinking a little bit. We're eating a little bit. And we're done. This is, this is, this is what we're gonna do. Cooking with Kells, volume 18 and a half. I'm gonna keep trying to do something cool for y'all, something different. Some of you guys can play with yourselves and cook yourselves. Cause I want y'all to, you know, have, have Netflix and chill sometimes. I know y'all need that in y'all lives. I'm trying to create that for y'all. Put this in your mouth. I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace.